The Haryana Affordable Housing Policy was announced in August 2013 and within a year as many as 21 developers including market leaders like DLF entered the fray to build affordable houses. This despite the fact that developers have been admitting that provisions of the policy are restrictive. As home buyers await the result of the draw to know if they got lucky, we take stock of whether this scheme has been a hit or a miss. Onitam Ojha reports. 21 developers have launched 27 projects with a little over 28,000 units in the affordable housing segment under the Haryana Affordable Housing Policy, notified in 2013. Predominantly known as the luxury and premium property destination of the North, Gurgaon seems to be fast emerging as a hub for homes that could cost just 12 to 24 lakh rupees thanks to this new policy. Uh, the locations of these projects, they're quite unapproachable. Like uh, a lot of projects that come up in Sona because obviously the land cost is too high. But ultimately, Gurgaon would more or less become affordable. Within a year of notifying the policy, as many as 122 applications were received from developers to launch affordable housing projects. Developers like DLF, known for its upscale housing, also applied for affordable housing projects, along with Raheta developers, Tulip and Supertech. In Gurgaon alone, 63 applications were received till September 2014 and 16 in Sohna. Under the policy, the carpet area will range from 28 to 60 square meter or 301.39 to 645.83 square feet and price has been fixed at 43,000 rupees per square meter or 4,000 rupees per square feet in Gurgaon, Faridabad, Panchkula, Pinjor, Kalka and for the rest of the state, the price has been fixed at 38,750 rupees per square meter or 3,600 rupees per square feet. Units will be sold based on carpet area. FAR has been fixed at 2.25 against 4 in Delhi and density norm stands at 850 to 900 people per acre. We have uh, constraints upon density norms and upon FAR norms also. Although with these constraints also, the response have been very good. You enter into a segment which is fast moving and you are able to unlock your land bank. So these are the two things which, which actually incentivize the developer to uh, get into it. And that is, I will say it's, a, it's by compulsion that he, is, he goes into it. The policy allows for parking your two-wheeler only, but many belonging to the low and middle income group also own four wheelers. Also, the fact remains that the demand in Gurgaon market is primarily for two BHK apartments, but the policy allows construction of only one BHK apartments. Irrespective of the shortcomings, the policy for now seems to have struck the right chord with the developers and the home buyers. In Gurgaon, Oinita Moja, NDTV.